Hello everyone, welcome back to Timberborn. This is episode 6, playing through hard mode. Before we get into our recap of the last episode, I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched and liked the most recent video that I uploaded. That was of course a 1000 subscriber special. If you haven't seen it already, go ahead and check it out. Link will be in the description below. In the last episode, we started increasing how much water we had, although we didn't quite get enough. Or at least we didn't get as much as we were hoping to. So now what we're doing is pumping all the water out of here. And then we'll be lowering this throughout the episode to just kind of bump up the amount of water we have stored. We are also in the process of starting our second district. You can see we have the district center right here. We are working on getting some of this infrastructure set up. And these guys are going to be responsible for making a reservoir around here and then also getting a bad water diversion system going over this direction. I know we could just punt it off the map, but I feel like it's kind of cheating in a way. So what we're gonna do is divert the bad water down here and then probably set up some sort of channel so it can flow into this area and then off the map with the rest of the bad water. And while we have all these workers working in the log pumping stations, we are a little bit short on beavers. And once we start transferring some beavers over here, we're gonna need a few more beavers so I think we'll go ahead and start getting some breeding pods set up in this district and in the first district so we'll place a couple right up there and then maybe one more right here and then in this district we'll do another couple we do need to be concerned about increased water consumption and then also increased food consumption but we have a lot of food that is ready to be picked so we just need to maybe increase the amount of farmhouses we have and then we're also in the process of getting more water storage capacity and water pumping capacity. So we can go ahead and actually lower this just to get this topped off a little bit. And then we also place some dynamite over here. You can see that it is right over in this area. We can go ahead and detonate this and then we'll place this in first and then we'll detonate it all at once. And then we can get a couple water pumps over here and then maybe get some more water storage set up in this area as well. And then we'll just keep topping this off until they clear basically this whole area of water. And as you can see that this little 3x3 three three grid before the water was flowing into here, I was keeping all these trees green. And this little 3x3 three three grid plus some of the water here is keeping this area green. Although it does look like we actually have a few beavers who have grown up, so we only have two vacancies now, which is excellent. We can go ahead and start unpausing some of these lumberjack flags. And then we'll get rid of this final set of dynamite. And then we'll just start lowering this one. We're going to be putting our first water pump right here. Although I should actually move this back now that I'm thinking about it. Because we're also going to be putting a water pump here and here. And so we can just get started. Get those set up the path going and then also get the storage set up as well and we'll just jump straight to the large water tank might as well it has a much larger capacity so we'll stick with that and before we get this district established we're going to make sure that we fill up the storage is over here so we're going to switch these to obtain so that means that the haulers should be bringing some goods over to these we will need to also prioritize these by haulers and we don't need to actually have someone working in here quite yet. So now we have a lot of unemployed beavers, but that is okay. So we have officially pumped all the water out of here. We can go ahead and just raise this for now, but we're not doing too bad on water. A little over 3,200, which should last us for eight days. But we are in the process of getting some of these water pumps set up. We just need to get some more dynamite placed here. Then we can place our third one over here. We will also be moving this whole area, or I guess this dam, back over this way. I should have done that in the first place, but I just wanted to get across and get some more water stored up. Wasn't quite thinking long term though. Thankfully we do have a lot of wood stored up, over 800, and we have a decent amount of planks. So we can look at starting that, although I don't think this is quite as important as getting this area set up. Although I guess they are pretty much done now. They just need to get some more water and food stored up. Then we can transfer the beavers over and have them start working on some stuff. But we do need to place down some houses. So we can put a couple large row houses right there. And no matter how we set the paths up, it's going to look kind of ugly, unfortunately. But if we move them forward a little bit, then there should be some space behind here. We can put maybe some decorations to help bump their well-being up a little bit. We can also start getting these floodgates set up. I think I only have it set to single floodgates here. 
and you might as well keep that going so we'll put a couple rows of levees down and then the floodgates on top and with this whole structure we can go ahead and actually lower the priority on this we'll just have them work on this when they don't have anything else to do and with how many trees we have ready to be chopped down i decide we should extend a path over in this direction and then we can put in some lumberjack flags here and then maybe some more over here and it looks like we've cleared out this berry storage they only have 25 left but they've been moving all their berries over into the storage over here this one's going up 117 i think we have both berry collectors working right now oh i guess we only have one working let's go ahead and turn that on we only have a few vacant jobs and i'm pretty sure that well three of them looks like are these inventor's huts I don't know what the last one is. Looks like it's a lumberjack flag. Can we go look at it? Oh, it's this one. I think we can afford to pause a couple inventor's huts. Oh yeah, we also made room for the tapper shack a couple episodes ago. So we should go ahead and get that placed down. We also need to get some storage set up for the pine resin. So now we have a couple more warehouses set up where we could put the pine resin. And then we also have some piles that we can use in the future as well. And it looks like we have quite a bit of food that's ready to be harvested. We have some cassavas over here. And then canola and soybeans are also popping up. Seems like we're doing pretty decent on food. We don't have a huge amount of storage for most of this stuff. Maybe we should start getting some larger warehouses built. We can go ahead and extend a path over in this direction. And we do have enough signs for a large warehouse, so we'll get this one placed down. And so then once they build these, we'll be able to make some of the food storage move over into these and then free up some of these smaller warehouses. And you can see that these beavers are actually chopping down these trees underwater. Overall, they have gotten most of the wood from over here. They're still in the process of building this. We should probably up the priority. Then we can just start collecting some pine resin quicker. And then over here, it looks like we can connect in these. So we'll do that and then we'll probably pause some of the lumberjack flags over here since they're not doing anything right now and it looks like both of these row houses have all the materials but they didn't quite finish constructing them so we go ahead and bump them up to highest priority oh man we actually have some beavers sleeping in here that's not really what i was hoping for so i think at this point we're going to go ahead and sever the connection between these two districts but the question is where do i want to put it i think we'll keep it a little bit closer to this first district we'll have it right here and unfortunately we don't have enough for the district crossing it takes a little bit more science than we have although we do have some unemployed beavers since there have been some that have been growing up we had a lot of them grow up we still have 12 babies so we'll go ahead and get some more lumberjack flags placed in the meantime we can have some workers hop into this power wheel since this was operating at less than 100 percent and i also built this warehouse backwards intentionally because I want to place a piece of dynamite right there and then we'll have a staircase going down then they'll be able to use this and this is in a little bit of a dangerous spot oh man Whew. I was gonna detonate it but he was putting something right up here I think I'll have to wait till the evening probably to detonate it don't want to destroy any beavers like in one of the other episodes that I did although I'm seeing that we actually are completely out of beds we have no free beds now and we have a bunch of babies still which means we probably also have some breeding pods that are getting ready to spit out some babies. So let's make some more housing. It looks like the beavers finished most of this over here. They're just going to be working on that, but we're going to detonate that. And then we'll get this staircase placed and make sure they complete that. So we can go ahead and connect this up. So that makes all of this work. But you can see that the breeding pods are still working even though there's no beavers in the district. But since they have the resources, it continues on. We're just waiting until we can get a little bit more science, then we can unlock the district crossing. And it looks like they did finish constructing these large warehouses, so we'll switch them to some of our more popular foods. And then we can reassign the warehouses that they were in. And thankfully we stocked up on food because we had three babies born. I'm pretty sure it was in the night. And so they're just enjoying some freedom. No adults around. But we did also get enough science to get the district crossing so we can unlock that, place it down. We'll need to transfer some beavers over here, but we do need to construct it first. So let's go ahead and prioritize both of those. And all of a sudden we have a lot of vacant jobs. Looks like we have some injured beavers around. We should probably get some more medical beds set up. Okay, so it looks like we have this area that is not growing. And that's because these two 3x3 grids of water 
don't quite reach over here. Maybe we should go ahead and make another little grid over in this area. But for this one, we're going to make it in the ground instead of having it above ground. So we'll start getting some dynamite placed here. And I think it's about high time that we go ahead and transfer some beavers over to this district. So let's go ahead and put five adults over there. And then they have some babies, so we'll leave that. And we need to also manage the distribution because we have a lot of stuff that is getting imported over here. We're also going to rename the districts. Let's do... Well, actually, this is something that you guys could help me name. Leave a comment down below what we should name this new district and then also what we should name our original district. And for district 1, we're going to have everything set to import if needed. And then district 3, I guess we'll just keep import if needed as well. And then we won't have them export any goods from district 3. And then we have everything set to export, but we want to switch it so it's not all the way down to 0%. If any of you guys know how to make this set to 50% for everything, or just make all these set to a certain percentage that isn't 0 or 100, let me know. There's probably a way, but I don't know a way, so I have to go through manually and set everything to 50. And we can also get this district up and running. They can't pump water right now, and they can't harvest their own food, but they can start chopping down some wood and start constructing some stuff. And so we'll go ahead and start getting the levees across here. And then we'll do the single floodgates. And since this whole area could be exposed to bad water, we'll go ahead and raise that up. And we have just under two days left of the drought, but we're doing fantastic on water. You can see we have 1.9 thousand water left. I thought we were going to be running out, but we're doing pretty good. And I think part of that is thanks to having these new water pumps that we put in. They are slowly working on getting this large water tank set up so they don't have to walk all the way over here to replenish our water storages. And as this beaver finishes the last piece of dynamite, we can go ahead and detonate it. And then we can place a fluid dump down here, which will help irrigate all the land around here. Although thankfully these trees aren't actually dying too quickly, but we do want to make sure that we can get this whole place irrigated because they only last about 12-ish days. And some of these long droughts that will be coming up last up to 30 days. Although I'm thinking about it and we don't actually want to build any of this until we have the bad water diversion system set up. Otherwise, we're going to have bad water potentially backing up. So we have all those paused and so they should be working on this, but they probably need planks. No, nope, it seems like they have enough resources. I am going to rearrange the district distributions a little bit because we really want this threshold a lot lower. That way they can actually keep getting some resources. Same with wood and water. You know, they probably also don't need any of the raw materials, so I'm gonna bump all these back up. We are going to need some small warehouses as well, because this is where we're gonna store some of the resources that we don't need a whole lot of like explosives, but we do need some, and then gears as well. And eventually we're gonna have this whole area. I'm thinking it'll be something like a grid around this area. That should be the area that we have for the water storage, like this, the big reservoir. That will take quite a while to build because it takes a lot of wood and it'll take a lot of beaver power. So we can't rely on that to irrigate the land for now. So what we'll have to do is do something like we were doing over here where we get a little three by three grid. But like I was saying, we need a little three by three grid where we can have a fluid dump set up to help irrigate the land because we can't rely on this water during the drought or bad tide to help irrigate the land. Oh, but the drought's over and I was spacing on that. We need to unpause all of these. Now we have a lot of vacant jobs, but we can go ahead and pause some of these seasonal ones. And then we'll also need to start clearing out this area. So we'll get a lumberjack flag placed over here. And then we can start looking at getting some dynamite placed. That way we can divert the bad water over in this direction. And I have four more breeding pods set up. I got rid of the one down here just to make this path a little bit straighter. But we have four more set up now because we really want to have the population in this district start exploding. But we do need to have them provide for themselves a little bit. They are going to be heavily relying on this district, at least at first. But there is plenty to do in this district. And we will need to build a farmhouse and then... Once we have this whole area get irrigated, we can have them start planting some crops. And it looks like the beavers are finally moving on to the second dam over here, which means that they don't really have a lot to work on. But they did finish this large water tank, so now they can just easily fill this up. 
We have over 6,000 water capacity in this district alone. It does look like we're starting to run out of wood a little bit, but we do have some trees that can be chopped down. And at the beginning of day three, it looks like we have a bad tide approaching a little bit quicker than the last wet season, but we're gonna do what we can. We're doing okay on water, but now that we have these three guys over here, I'm a lot less worried about running out of water overall. Although it is a good thing that we have these levees paused. That way we won't be backing up the bad water over here. And it looks like we actually have an unemployed beaver. Go ahead and bump those jobs up. Now we have four available. These guys are actually doing pretty good. They have a decent amount of wood. Food is looking good, but they are having it imported in. And I'm hoping that they're getting in some dynamite, but it looks like this guy, he is constructing the explosives. And maybe there's some more over here. Looks like explosives are right on the threshold, so we'll drop that down a little bit for now. And if they don't have anything to do, we should unpause these lumberjack flags and help get the wood stores up just a little bit. We can also get a farmhouse constructed, so that is something they can work on. This will be a higher priority in terms of jobs, and then we'll get some crops started to get planted. Although they won't plant the crops until they finish clearing this area out and we get the fluid dump set up. Overall, it looks like our food is going up. We're up to 1.4 thousand. I think we are below a thousand at some point in this episode. Water is going up. Wood is still a little bit low, and almost half of the wood is in this district, which is kind of hilarious. Although, even if we completely clear all the trees over here and we get some dynamite set up in order to divert the bad water over in this direction, we still need to make some sort of structure that can funnel the bad water. And so I'm probably gonna have the beavers of this district help build some sort of canal over here. We'll probably just stick with levees. Maybe we'll dynamite it out, but I kind of doubt it. All we would really need to do is something like this and then maybe go over in this direction. Although there are quite a few trees that we can harvest. So if we make a path going over in this direction, and I did start the process of having a nice little shortcut. So they can just go over here and then we can kind of kill two birds with one stone. So if we get a small storage area set up for logs, or we could even do a big one. And so if they construct this, then we'll get some lumberjack flags who will just cut all these trees down, put them in here, and then the builders will be able to just pull logs from here to construct everything over in this direction. Ooh, it looks like we did finish the dynamite. We'll go ahead and detonate all of that. And then we can get the fluid dump set up. Looks like they are already on it. And with less than a day left, we are going to start lowering the water elevation over here. We'll go a little bit at a time, but we don't want to completely flood this area like I am just about doing. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's episode. We got quite a bit done. We have the second district established, and they are on their way to self-sufficiency, although it'll take a little bit before they can fully support themselves. So if you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and leave a like. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And with that, we will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.